This is part two of Langton's Retreat, a simple six by four layout. Now here I'm adding handles, just a couple of handles. This shows people where to lift the layout up from. This is the easiest point to lift it from. And I'm using four screws just to locate the handles into the wood. And you can pick the layout up in other areas. Some areas are stronger than others though. And this is actually the strongest point to pick it up with. But here you can see I'm handling it on the battens as well and on the edges. And I just tip it onto the table and then move it onto the table in position. And this layout is designed to sit on top of this table. And that means I haven't had to make any legs for it. I just use the table legs themselves. Then around the edge, I use some hard as nails, which I'm using here as a filler, using my finger just to smooth it out and push it into the gaps. This helps glue the wood to the foam even more. It's also going to give me a nice seal when I start to add grass and stuff like that. Then I mocked it up. I laid out some of the track and items. And this gives me an idea of how things are going to look just to make sure they fit. So here is my layout standing on the table and the table legs. That's the simple way to do it. Here is another way to do it using carpentry skills and make wooden legs that are actually part of the layout too. And this is another layout our club's making. So there's several approaches. Now here I demonstrate the strength of my layout. I just drop it like that and it's so lightweight it doesn't even suffer any damage. Next I begin spraying it. Now you've always got to spray some greens and greys and reds and blacks, anything really. Normally the colour of what's going to be on top. So in grassy areas you put green for example so that if anything does show through the grass it's just the green paint and not silver foam. After that, I've added some back scene. Now, these back scenes are quite simply printouts on paper that I've done. I've just gone on the internet and got some pictures of scenery and printed them out, used Photoshop to mirror image things and re-clone parts of the image to vary it a bit. And then I've made three images that can join at the same point and go in any order and they fit nicely. So I'm using neat PVA glue. You don't want to water it down or it will go through the paper and make the print run. So neat PVA glue and then just stick it around the two inches of wood and that just gives it a nice finish other than the wood and the wood itself protects the layout and stops things from falling off the layout and rolling onto the floor. So this provides a nice back scene all around the edge of my layout.